Hey, Chi Chi, we're back. Hi, Mom. Man, we really worked up a sweat today. Goku, do you have a second? Sure, Chi Chi, but can it wait? I'm starving. Don't you? I'm starving me. I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Why can't you act more like our neighbors and drive us to the store once in a while? But Chi-Chi, we don't have a car. And even if we did, I couldn't drive it. I don't have a license. You need to get a driver's license. You're the only one around here who still doesn't have something that basic. Piccolo doesn't have one either. What use would I have for that? Then you need to go to driver's ed. Think of it as training to become normal, everyday people. You're both obsessed with training, right? Then you can't say no. What? What do I have to? It's easy to find Bulma's place. Just look for the biggest house. The next day. Now then, shall we begin the driving lesson? <laughs> if this is how it's going to be, then I'm all in. Listen up, Goku. Whether it's in battle or on the road, I'm not losing to you. All right, I get you. This is a different type of training. It's on, Piccolo. Um, there's no need to view this as a competition. Are you all right? Remember, safety first, okay? This isn't putting safety first! Woohoo! No, 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 no! We should be able to make it, right? Oh, don't forget about safety! You lose points for taking your eyes off the road! Go even faster! Oh, don't forget about safety! Woohoo! No, 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 no! We should be able to make it, right? Oh, don't forget about safety! Woohoo! Man, this feels great! No, 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 no! Even faster! Oh, don't forget about safety! We should be able to make it, right? No, 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 no! Man, this feels great! We should be able to make it, right? Oh, don't forget about safety! Woohoo! No, 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 no! Man, this feels great! This isn't putting safety first! Oh, don't forget about safety! We should be able to make it, right? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How was that? Oh, oh my! Looks like I'm the winner, Piccolo! Oh, wow. Who are these guys? <laughs> One more time, Goku. W wait! I said wait! A license isn't some prize for bragging rights. It's to ensure that you can drive safely and responsibly. Like I care about that. I will not accept defeat from the likes of him. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a hang of this whole driving thing, don't you? Let's go, Piccolo. 
Come on, let's do this thing. Excuse me? With pleasure. <laughs> what? It's on, Goku. Oh, yeah, Piccolo? <laughs> Hey, Chi Chi, we're back. Goku, so how'd it go? <laughs> Handled it like a complete pro. I beat Piccolo, no problem. <laughs> you what? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but whatever. Did you get your license? Oh, actually, there's probably something you should know. I think the instructor was a little freaked out by how we drove. She told us she'd give us our licenses if we promised to never come back. <laughs> so, so you, you didn't actually pass the test? But, well, at, at least you got your license. Yep. Now we can buy a car and finally go on those family drives I've been dreaming about. Well, the thing is, they also said we'd have to pay for all the damages caused during the test, and I can't even guess how much that'd be. What? Uh, I'm not so good with money, so... I'll let you handle that. Thanks, Gigi. Y you Well, now that that's done, let's get back to training. Yeah! <laughs> Mom? Whoa, Gigi! You all right? I know it wasn't easy, but you finally got your license, Goku. I'm proud of you. Now all we need is a car. A car? Do we even have money for that kind of purchase? Well, not after paying back the city for all of the damages you caused when you were taking the test to get your driver's license. I'm counting on you to get us that car, Goku. Oh, right. I see. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, why don't... Why don't I ask Bulma? She's a whiz with machines. Cars are machines. Good idea. Bulma always has a solution up her sleeve. That's true. I guess I'll hit her up about it then. You do that. Oh, hey, Goku. What brings you here? Well, it's not a big deal, but I was hoping you could help me with a little problem. Uh, sure. What's up? Not sure if you heard, but Chi-Chi made me get a driver's license, which is fine, but the thing is, now she wants a car. Got an extra one lying around in those tiny capsules? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? Earth's champion, now a licensed driver. <laughs> sure, I can get you a car. Seriously? You don't strike me as a responsible driver. Any normal car would turn to scrap with you behind the wheel. Find me the stuff I need, and I'll hook you up with an extra sturdy set of wheels. All right, then. So what do you think we need? It's all on this list. Be sure to refer to it when you're out scavenging so you don't forget anything. Oh, and one more thing. Leave all matters of maintenance and upgrades to me. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Bulma. Don't mention it. After all, happy wife, happy life. I'm home, Chi-Chi! Well, did you get us a car? After I round up a bunch of materials, Bulma's gonna make one for us. 
Really? That's wonderful, Goku! Then you'd better get to finding those materials. I'm sure it'll be good training, too. I don't know if I'd go that far, but then again, you never know till you try. All right. What should I do today? Dad! Mom's calling for you! Really? Uh, okay. Hey, Piccolo, do you think you could take Gohan and train him for a while? At least until I can catch up. <laughs> Fine. Goku? I just got a call from Master Roshi. He said launch is back at Kame House. Oh yeah? Talk about a blast from the past. So what's going on with her? I'm not sure, but he said she wanted to talk to you about something. But I've got training to do. Don't you dare be disrespectful to Master Roshi. Just head over there and hear them out. Oh, yeah, you're right. Guess I'll make my way over there. Be careful! Well, better get going, I guess. Better get going, I guess. All right, not too much longer now. Ah, there you are, Goku. Would you mind listening to what Launch has to say? Launch, it's been a while. Someone forget about you? What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Tien, all three eyes is back in the promised land. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Being that he cheated death and all, I thought a visit was in order. Then why don't you just go? I did, but he wasn't home. I've been by time and time again with no luck. Apparently, the oaf's out traveling the world, training. Hasn't been back since. I ain't got the foggiest idea where he could be. That makes two of us. I don't know either. Ah, don't give me that. You can fly. Find him for me. Come on, I'm begging you. Hmm. What? You can sense energy, you dolt. Zeroing in on him should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry to blank out on you there, Master Roshi. Let's see now. Hmm. Tien. Tien. All right, got him. Hey, he's near my house. What? You found him? Already? Yep, if that's all, I'll be on my merry... You idiot! I'm not ready yet! I wasn't expecting you to find him so fast. Seeing him requires, you know, preparation. Why don't you try to keep him busy till I'm done? Got it? I'll be quick. Sheesh! You try to be nice to people. I wonder how Master Roshi and everyone are doing.
Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Goku, a rare pleasure. So someone asked me to find you and... Let's just say she really, really, really wants to see you. That's so. I'm actually done training here. But it looks like I'll be on the move again soon. Seriously? That's a bummer. Can't you wait a little longer? Well... Perhaps we can strike a deal. How's this sound? Let me test the results of my training. On you. Is that all? Shoot, I'd do that for free. <laughs> it's been far too long since we went toe to toe. Here I come! to amaze me. Likewise, Tien. You've gotten a lot stronger. Apparently not strong enough, but learning that is a milestone in itself. As promised, I'll wait for this mystery guest. Through my sparring with you, I discovered a few things I need to improve. I think I'll train here for a little while longer. Do you mind? Go for it, Tien! 
Thanks. By the way, who is it that wants to meet me? Oh, crap! I left that part out. It's launch. Uh, oh, you have no idea how much that makes me want to get back to training. But a promise is a promise. Tell her she can find me here. You bet! Sure did. Listen up. So just go to the place I told you about, and he'll be there waiting. Ah, uh, reunited at last. This has been a long time in the making. Thanks. Here, this is for you. I fixed some grub to take with me, but went a little overboard. You can have the leftovers. Thanks. You know me. I'd never turn down food. Hold on to your hat, Tien. I'm coming for you. <sighs> if I can push myself just a little bit more, I should be able to turn into a Super Saiyan. I see you're hard at work as always, Vegeta. What do you want? I've made some slight modifications to the training room. Would you like to see what I came up with? Oh? Go on then. Show me what you've done. I knew you'd be interested. Come with me. She's a new researcher I've hired to help me work on the training room upgrade. Be nice to her, Vegeta. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Allow me to explain the new feature to you. Interesting. I might have to give this thing a try now. We should have room for a few more upgrades, but we're a little short on power. If you find any large sources of energy, give them to my fellow researcher here, and she should be able to make the necessary improvements. Got it. How's your training going? Mind your own business. Well, don't overdo it. Though I'm sure someone as tough as you will be just fine. You've got that right. That should put Bulma's mind at ease then. Whoops, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> just you wait, Kakarot. It won't be long until you're struggling to keep up with me.
That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. stronger now that they've been training. I have no idea what to expect for these androids, but I really want to test my moves on them. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. I need to train up and get stronger than ever so I can take on whatever kind of androids come our way. You're late. What have Sorry. Ran into a few hitches. <laughs> but I did manage to get in a good bit of training, though. I got to fight against Tien. <laughs> I figured as much. Luckily for us, we took the liberty of starting without you. <laughs> Sorry about that. How's the training coming along, Goku? done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Right. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off. <laughs> <laughs> It's probably nothing. Hey, Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Go on, take it easy, okay? Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. Don't use up all that power of yours before the fight even starts. Oh, sorry. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks, the child she had with Vegeta. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids 
quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. in the city is it the androids could be but there's no way to tell from here hey what gives i couldn't sense their power at all that's it they're androids which means we can't sense their energy you're kidding right where could they be if we can't sniff them out then we're just gonna have to hunt them down all right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go. Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. Wait! Yeah! Yep. I never imagined we wouldn't be able to track their energy. Talk about a pain. Me, you're Trillin, a... how are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? Yeah! <laughs> Maybe one thing, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right, be on your guard. Yeah! Where are you? Come on, show yourselves! Tian Shin Han! Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's got to be some place we haven't thought to look. Whoa! I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha? Y Yamcha! Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tia, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go! 